Hello, my name is Heath Kirkendall. Uh, this is my quiz number two, or uh, kind of a reflection, I guess, quiz uh, for the Race, Power, and Politics class with Dr. Johnson. This is a short quiz video in which I will explain some connections between uh, one current, one past president's policy, in this case, President Trump, uh, and uh, something that occurred to U.S. education during the uh, 20th century. In this case, uh, we'll be looking at the uh, Nation at Risk uh, report and the reactions and, res and fallout from it. Um, I'll keep this pretty brief because it only needs to be about five minutes or so. Um, I wanted to mention just a few things that I found very interesting when comparing President Trump's policies uh, with what was said in the report for Nation at Risk, and most specifically the reaction to it. While the report for Nation at Risk talks a lot about um, making sure that schools have the ability, the funding, the means to uh, succeed and to make sure their students are succeeding, um, in one of the videos that we watched about uh, a nation at risk, uh, we see that Ronald Reagan's early response to the report was to say, well, this report said exactly what I thought it would. Obviously, we need more tuition vouchers, uh, more voluntary prayer in schools, and we need to abolish the Department of Education. Um, and the people who were working on the report said that that was kind of the uh, the opposite of what they had wanted or, or had expected as well. Um, I see some interesting parallels here between uh, Reagan's... Um, <laughs> Uh, Reagan's policy takeaways from the report uh, and Trump's policy takeaways uh, just from education in general he believes in many ways very similar things he wants to he wanted to let's say uh, abolish the Department of Education um, he wanted to make sure that states had full control when it comes to schooling he wanted to institute tuition vouchers he and his uh, Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos really pushed for that um, and he also wants to make sure that uh, things like uh, religion and praying in school uh, is more accepted and uh, open to all students. Um, I think it's incredibly interesting to look at their re their responses to these these deficits that we see in education. Um, these deficits are something that we've known about for quite a long time. Reagan himself was part of the group that commissioned that early report, the, the Nation at Risk report, uh, and when conservatives look at those problems that we see in education, the way that they look at it is so disconnected from the reality. Um, and we see that with both Reagan and then Trump, who is in many ways his spiritual successor, um, if not a direct successor in many ways. Um, we see that where the fixation from the experts is on um, improving uh, student output, improving student performance, making sure that students are, are well-rounded and are able to perform well in, in areas of math, science, um, uh, making sure that they have good history education, making sure reading and writing are top priorities for all students. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, we instead see that there, we see conservatives say yes, those are important, but to reach those, we need to disband the school system that we have now and move into something entirely different, a school system which would only be benefiting rich white Americans, um, whether that's through tuition vouchers, which are not made to benefit uh, poor minority students. They are they are almost exclusively made to benefit white students. Um, through debol uh, de abolishing the Department of Education, which means state would be states would be able to just go right along with whatever they wanted without any kind of federal oversight on that, which could be incredibly dangerous, as we've discussed in class before. Um, and then also making sure that um, uh, students don't really have as much power, don't have as much say, are more at the whims of uh, educators and parents. Um, it is clear that when conservatives, uh, that like the conservative strategy has not changed, uh, I guess, since the time of Reagan, um, that it is still a fundamentally religious right wing group that does not see education as something which builds people up, but which sees education as something that can be used to uh, produce citizens that they want. Um, citizens that will vote the way they want, think the way they want, act the way that they want. Um, and of course, uh, scare other people who don't think the way they want into either compliance or into silence. Um, it worries me then to see um, how many of those ideas uh, Trump kind of reignited in the Republican Party, or if not reignited, at least brought back to the forefront. Um, I don't really remember discussing tuition vouchers or things like that for education, um, or even really hearing about them in any kind of context, even from my mother who works in education, has worked in education basically all of her life. <laughs> until uh, Trump and, and DeVos got to their positions, and then it was it was bringing that, uh, that idea that had been around for a while, but which had not at least been discussed too much recently, back into the limelight. Um, 
it's clear that for many conservatives, they don't want to look at the actual evidence. They want to just look at um, what they want and just say, well, this will fix it if we just close our eyes and hope, I guess. Um, I just found it very interesting that the that connection, that parallel between Reagan and Trump and how there's not really much difference in how they view fixing those educational problems. And, and while Reagan was eventually pushed by public, public pressure into doing actual uh, actual work towards helping education and leaving the Department of Education alone to some degree. Um, it's clear that the Conservative Party now is not as easily going to be curtailed by uh, or curtailed by uh, by public opinion. That they are more willing to break from whatever American traditions there are and just kind of forge ahead with what they think is right. Um, and while Trump and DeVos were not able to do that the first time due to the thick bureaucratic system they would have had to have worked through, um, it is a little worrisome to know that um, given enough time and someone with enough persuasion and charisma, it's very likely that the next time the conservatives have control of the White House, there's a there's a decent chance that we could see a massive shift in the way education in the country works, and not, uh, not for the better. Um, that's all I have to say on it at this time. Um, I'd love to discuss this more, of course, whenever we see each other again. Um, thank you very much. Uh, that is where I'll end my video.